Underground Crypto. Hey, this is the Underground Crypto back at it again. And it's late night, but I'm still doing the recording. I did have a show that I was going to do today, but with all the news, I had to switch things around. But what we see here, this is the cover for today's show. XLM will rise, others will fall. That's the theme for today's show. So let's dive into it. We have a lot to talk about, a lot to talk about. We're going to look at a few comments. And shout out to Fearless Leader for giving the inspiration to this cover here. I'll read his comment there and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're going to be talking about, we're going to look at some comments. Look at the big news with Coinbase today. Look at some Stella XLM news. And also, I have a bone to pick with, this is the bearable bull here. And I got this aggressive average content for you today. So I got a bone to pick with him from his most recent video. But big shout out to Bearable Bull either way. You know, he does his thing. So let's dive into it. So real quick, Michael Stewart, he won the 100 XLM, but he never replied. So you know what? Time's up, Michael. That's it. So what we're going to do is the next person, or not the next person, what we're going to do is on this video, if you're a subscriber, comment, and I'm going to select a, I'm going to select a comment to win the 100 XLM. Make sure you have your wallet ready and be ready to reply in 48 hours when I do select the person because I'll comment in the video and I want to send the 100 XLMs to you right away. No waiting. All right. So that's the plan. So comment, subscribe to win 100 XLM will go directly to your wallet right away. Sorry, Michael. All right. And that was uh, that video right here that we see here. That was a little over a week ago. And a reminder, we did release the Stellar Excellent Motivational Series. You'll hear Jed McCaleb, Danell Dixon, Jesse Lund. So we have more of that coming out. All right, so let's dive into it here. And let's look at the, the news, the big news. So this is the Coinbase news. Coinbase announces it will suspend XRP trading as price drops another 10%. So Coinbase plans to suspend trading for the token on Jan 19th, but added it may be halted earlier as needed. So XRP is really taking a hit. Because there's a there that connection with Jed McCaleb, because of the cross-border payments, Stellar XLM, the sleeping giant, is, is taking a hit. It's down to 14 cents down like i think three four percent on the day it could hit the bottom at nine ten percent but not financial advice but great buying opportunity we have nothing to do with that sec lawsuit so nothing to worry about there but because of that we are taking a hit but let's look at some more information on this there's more going on with this here so you will, as I read this article more, it will say you will soon see Kraken, Bitrix, Genesis, Grayscale, and other members of the Crypto Rating Council delisted too, said Twitter user Pratikala. Liquidity will dry up and the remaining market makers in Asia will have to exit too. So this is, this is pretty... Pretty serious stuff for uh, Ripple. You can see they're down 23 cents. I think they hit a high of like 79 cents a couple of weeks back. Grayscale Investments may have already distanced itself from XRP, according to Twitter. User, the firm reported reportedly ending subscriptions for its XRP trust by announcing it will no longer accept new subscriptions or process pending ones. The Grayscale website declares that Grayscale XRP Trust private placement is currently closed. So 
bad news for XRP. I know the XRP community is pretty strong. They have the bearable bull, XRP chiz, the digital asset investor. You know, they are big time XRP. But Stella the sleeping giant will rise. The sleeping giant. I'm not sure why more people aren't talking about Stella. All right, so let's continue here. Also, crypto.com is the delisting XRP as well. So effective January 19th. But one, one strange thing that I don't get, though, is... So I understand why it's U.S.-based customers only where they're delisting, but why did all this happen right before the... Was it the Spark airdrop, the Flare airdrop? It was close to that date. And U.S. only, I understand SEC, U.S. government, but I don't know. I'm not sure if there's anything fishy going on there. But Crypto.com also delisting XRP. But let's dive into this. Let's dive into this video by the Bearable Bull. Shout out to Bearable Bull. He always does his thing. He doesn't care what anyone says, which is good. But I got a bone. I got a bone to pick with the Bearable Bull. So let's listen to this clip and we're, we're going to pick that bone. All right, turn your speakers up. They could have settled this. They're not doing it. I think there's a reason. They're setting the global standard and we have front row seats. All you have to do is hold on to your XRP. It's not that hard. What, you scared you're going to lose a little money? I can guarantee you if you have cash on hand, you are losing money all the time. If you have fiat this year alone, it's been hyperinflated. 35% of all you... West dollars made ever have been made in 2020. That in itself should make you run as far away from the U.S. dollar. Look for a different asset class. Digital assets is a brand new asset class in a nascent market and XRP is partnered with the people that control the hundreds of trillions of dollars on the planet. Use logic and reason. You're not stupid. You're not dumb. You all see the end game. This is a cloud of smoke. We will overcome this cloud of smoke. But from now till January 19th, you have an opportunity to accumulate as much XRP as possible. FOMO while you still can, my soldiers. It's about that time. FOMO. FOMO. Not financial advice, but FOMO. That's what he says. They want you out before they begin this life-changing wealth, and no one ever said it was going to be easy. This is winning the lottery in slow motion, and it just got a little bumpy. We're losing some primetime community members left and right. And all I'm telling you is, I will not break. I am not phased. And I will always buy the dip. Always buy the dip. And always remember that XRP was not meant for retail. That's why they want you out. It's meant for institutions. Period. End of discussion. All right. I'm going to start the discussion. And so the bone I have to pick with Bearable Bull. Right. The first one is be careful the direction you steer your audience. You know, you know, saying, what are you scared? You just got to be careful with that. I had that financial advice out there. Entertainment purposes only. Right. The second bone. And I didn't play this clip, but he said it earlier. You could check back and definitely go go ahead and subscribe to Bearable Bull. And the other thing is, he said he read the 71-page SEC report 
and he agrees that the arguments against Ripple are logical. However, he will continue to buy the dip. X Ripple will prevail because of their connections. In some ways, I could see how that's true with, you know, like, you, if you connect it to the president, he will pardon you. But it doesn't always work like that. The third bone to pick. And this is also in reference to another tweet that I saw. The, the person said XLM and XRP are like brothers and XLM's the little brother. We're not the little brother. We're the big brother. We're the giant. Stella. So we're going to start separating ourselves from that. We'll always have the connection, but we are the big brother now. We are the giant, Stella. Also, we are the dark phoenix in reference to the movie. We shall rise. Even though Stella doesn't say it, institutional, what Bearable Bull said, that's in scope. The Stella Network takes care of all of that. Retail, the unbanked, institutional. Stella Network covers all use cases. Right, let me know what you think about that. So, we're, we're going to dive more into this. We don't have that much competition. They would use Stellar to make their payments faster. 